Mr. Brown, you going with us? Yes. You are? Yeah. Okay, we gotta hurry. We gotta build this chicken garden. Mom, can I put this on <laughs> Hopefully within 30 minutes before milking time. You need help getting dressed? He doesn't need help getting dressed. Me there? I but I want him to go. But I want him to go. So I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so I end up helping him get dressed. Chores! Nobody likes doing them but me. Hey, we got 25 minutes. We can't find Mr. Brown's shoes. There's always an obstacle. Most of the time, finding Mr. Brown's shoes is one of those obstacles. Why do I look where they're supposed to be? I found the play shoes. All right, go ahead. Why don't you come in on the other side? Whoa, yeah. And then these are in the shoes where they're supposed to be. We're gonna need food scraps. We're gonna need rakes. Uh-uh. You hold my hand. A broad fork right where it's supposed to be. We'll see if our lime's where it's supposed to be. I haven't used it in a while. By the way, if you didn't have chickens and you were doing this, you would have put down some blood meal. So you wouldn't have no manure. You wouldn't have any manure. So we got plenty of lime. Do we have any gypsum? I don't think we have gypsum. Can we carry this too, Mr. Brown? Let's see what you guys have done. Well, let's move you out and see what you've done. First step, move the chickens out. Scoot it as far as we can. Good. Hey, look, we got it off the, look at the job they've done, guys. It's crazy. Now let's scoot this thing up. Try not to walk on that, kid. Do you guys want to rake it while I adjust this? Really, there's a rake, right? Where is it? There it is. We're raking it to spread the manure out. See how there's a lot of manure right there? Spread that out evenly, okay? And maybe flatten this up a bit here. Look, they're on fresh grass and loving it. But we need to line it up properly. No, we actually planted two weeks ago. Remember, Lily? We have some stuff going in the greenhouse. So you wanna rake that nice? We're getting the fresh green grass. Already starting the till job. This is after, this is before. So before, after. And that's just two weeks time, three chickens. Let me just stir it up a little bit. We're just spreading the love, spreading the love. There's a hump here. And there's some lower spots on there. Get off the hump and get soil down in the lower spots. It's easier to chop this up after the chickens have been here. Look at that. I could I could totally till that really with a hard rake. Okay, we've evened that out. Broad fork. Who wants to help broad fork? Well, I will. I want to. Everybody gets a turn. Gideon will do half, and then Lily will do half. Okay. I'll go first. All right, let's start at the end, okay? Here, you gonna go that way? Okay, you jump on. I'll jump on on the side. You jump on in the middle. Maybe it's all we need with your weight. I remember when this grass was this up tomorrow. We just wiggle it back and forth. Meadow Creatures Broad Fork, look. That's gone all the way in, okay? Now you ready for the heavy workout, Gideon? One, two, Three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See how this is lifting that up? That's aerating, it'll aerate that soil, it'll hydrate the soil. Mm. Let's go back about what? Half a foot, six inches? Okay, jump on. Okay, you ready for the ride? Yeah. Whoa. Ugh. Keep going. Jonah's calling me for feeding the piglets. You need your scythe? Yeah. Day four, trying to train these pigs. Hey, pigs. Pigs, 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 pigs. We don't want them to run away when we come. We want them to come. They are coming to the door, Rebecca. Oh, good. That means okay. We want them coming to us. Mom, you gotta watch yourself. 
Look. Really fast. Don't, don't. Look, here they come. Look. When they Getting better. Now, see if I can pet, pet them first try. Nope. It's good that they're hungry. Lily, yeah, take this pan. Start training them to follow you. Take it over there in the corner. And then let them have a bit. Right there's good. Say pick, 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 pick. Put it down, put it down. Say pick, 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 pick. Here, I'll come over there with the bucket. Pick, 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 pick. Eat a little bit. That's what we need before we go into the pasture, right, Mom? Yeah. Okay, so I've got to go to the bathroom, but you may not know this, but that's a pre that's a nitrogen source. So if you didn't have chickens, I guess you could come out here and pee on your garden every day. Pee on your uh, garden every day. All right. Make sure you're looking. Don't have chickens. Don't have blood meal. Pee on the garden for a couple of weeks. We broad forked it. We could uh, here, since we have an acidic soil, we can just put a little bit of a lime, a little bit of lime, not much, probably not even a handful, half a handful. If we have gypsum, we could uh, put it down because we have clay soil, scraps. Why don't we put down food scraps? It's just food for the worms, encourage the worm activity. Look at the chickens going nuts. Yeah, they wish they were getting those, don't they? Now, we've actually harvested compost out of our compost corner up there in our yard. Chickens on, <coughs> on deep bedding, on, on wood chips, eventually turn it into compost. Look at that. Yeah. Is that not beautiful? It's really nice. We is got not beautiful a little stuff? much here. Probably a little much for this one little Oh, it is. It is, but we're going to do nine garden pots. There it is. That took no time. Four inches. Beauty's gone to get the measuring tape just to make sure we get this right. Pretty good. Can you hold that? This is to prevent weeds from going up. So Four. I'm gonna cut holes in it and then plant my plants inside. You'll see. Right now, we're just gonna build the garden. We'll plant it in two weeks. Are you gonna put okay. mulch on top or dirt? You know what we're gonna put on top? We could totally put wood chips on top of this. Now you need four inches of mulch. But Lily, most people can't get wood chips. But what can they get? They have a mower. Oh, I, oh, no, I know. What is it? Grass clippings. Actually, our next step would be to wet this down. Start the breaking down process. Here, do like, yeah, hold your thumb on it. Now wet down the paper. That will weigh it down, one, until we can get grass clippings on it, and two, It'll start the breaking down process. And it'll keep the comp, but you know what? We should wet down the compost. There you go. They're uh, covering up our raspberries. We weeded those, what, yesterday? Yeah. And here they are. And just like that, we're almost done. Uh, it's actually 8.30. We've decided, let's start milking at nine now. We shift our times with the weather, with what's going on. It's hotter now, so it's better to get some projects done in the morning and then being under the shed, milking later. I wanna move on and go to the pigs, maybe get that done before milking. We gotta pick up. We'll get some grass clippings later and we'll cover it about, I don't know, eight inches a foot because they will shrink. Let's see how much we're gonna need. Why are you gonna put so much? You need it about four inches. No, maybe a third. Uh, yeah. Maybe not even. Now we break. No. Come here. Come here. Did you hurt yourself? Yes. Did you bump your knee? My knee. few minutes before breakfast. I'm show you guys a little bit of what we do during the middle of the day. I get my footage uploading for the vlog and then I check member texts for you guys. Let's find a good one that will be relevant to you. I'll answer them 
and you give you an answer to it right here on the vlog. I have an app that sends a text to my computer and we go through and answer people's questions. Brian Asher, he's a new member. Great question. Our journey is starting with egg layers. We got them from Meyer Hatchery three weeks ago yesterday. Is it warm enough for them to go out overnight? That's a pretty easy answer. He needs a quick answer. For you guys, if you're curious about that, it needs to be 30 degrees. And the chicks needs to be three weeks old. So at three weeks old, they have enough feathers to stay warm down to 30 degrees. So just wait till it's gonna be 30 degrees, even overnight, to put your chicks out. Generally, I handle the texts. Rebecca handles Facebook, so we'll get some shots of that in a minute. Let's look at the Facebook group for a second. We got Misty showing off her farm fresh breakfast. We're looking at septic tank treatments, suggestions. Oh, somebody, Melissa Patel, you're happy to become a new member. Welcome, Melissa, and showing off all your goods. You got the Attainable Sustainable book and the Great American Farm Tour and the seeds and the... Oh, you must have become a lifetime member. Good job, Melissa. Somebody's got a meat duck question. And look, they've got already 11 comments. They've got 11 answers. Andy is building a beautiful compost corner for his chickens. Now, let's test this area. Let's test this area for you guys in the vlog. I've got a question. What are some of your ideas to keep cats out of the garden. 11 o'clock, let's, let's check in a little later and see what we get. Well, I'm in there answering texts, editing for the vlog. Rebecca's in here. Hey. Hey, I wonder if you could take off your <laughs> orange screen just for a second, could you do that? I don't know your workflow for the Facebook member area, so what's that like? Um, what do you mean? What do you do? Like, I just go there and answer questions. You just, okay, well. I go to the member area. That's and right. And I just scroll through it. You just and... scroll through. Yep. Dude, I already have, wait. I just posted that, Rebecca. Right. I already have three comments yeah. on the cats in like two minutes. Yeah, I've had that idea. It's putting a kitty litter nearby. We could put one. Yeah. We could put one in front of like the oil tank. So that's crazy. Do like a sandbox, but my yeah. kids are going to want to play in that. All right. Well, I'm going to let you scroll through that, and then I'm going to come get your impression. Okay. Okay? Yeah. The way I learned was this way. Through books and videos. I'll go so, slow so y'all can see some of my books. I know I know y'all are going to want to geek out on my books. So here you go. Okay. What are these books? Can I go and say, how do you keep a good cat out of a garden? I'm not sure if any of these books have answered, <laughs> and I don't think I would find it in like two minutes, three minutes. That question about when it's okay to put chickens out, I think I actually probably got that information in my head from Joel's uh, Pastured Poultry Profits, I think. I could be wrong. Maybe it was from the small scale poultry flock. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I've got all this. We've got all this in our head, and I was able to help that guy really fast. He's losing some chickens, it sounds like. Yes. And that was just four minutes ago, and you're answering it already. Good job, Becky. Yeah. Sure, these books would have some common chicken problems or something, but you can't like post pictures to these books and get multiple answers in what's looking like minutes. At the worst, hours. Some of this is soaked up hay. I don't know if you can do too much. You could do a foot, because I, I think it's going to sh shrink down mega. Well, I know it's going to shrink down mega. Been working on the edit. Rebecca's got some news in regards to the cat problem. And then we're going to look how many responses we have. The cats, the reason they use our garden is because it's nice and soft yeah. to dig in. Everywhere care. else is not. So, kitty litter. Yeah, like I purchased some kitty litter and a box that has like a lid. We have a kitty yeah. litter pan, but it doesn't have a lid to it. Mm -hmm. So I bought one that has a lid and we can put it like right here on the dock or down on the ground right there so that they can use that to go to the bathroom. 
But then I also bought something that's like a motion detector, and it sounds out, sends out some sound that the cats don't like. Really? Now, did you did somebody tell you about that? Or yes. Did you find that out. What? No, that was okay. on the. I want to show them this too. So this is also our sprinkler. When are we gonna hook that up? That's the motion sensor. Somebody also said that, so it confirms that what we were thinking is right. Yeah. How about let's go see just how much response we got on the Facebook group in four hours. 36 comments <laughs> in four hours. Rebecca implemented two of the ideas. One of the persons uh, furthered our idea for the motion sensors, but there are all kinds of ideas. That's encouraging, and that's my question to people. Other people are asking questions and getting the same type of response. You might have tried other educational type learning type stuff, but this is different. I mean, you might, might have tried books, you might have tried other courses, whatever. This is very different. Hopefully I showed you that. Like text access, like Facebook group, our suggestions, other people's suggestions. It's different. So I encourage you to try it. This is our do-it-yourself abundance member area. We can help you. If we can't, you get in there, you don't like it, you can cancel it any time. It's no obligation. Check it out. Link for it down in the description. Oh, you know, I should go away with one thing. Probably what, spends mo probably what I spend most of my time on is making instructional videos. We have an Evergreen Video Library. I made two, well, filmed two yesterday. I added on to our strawberry and asparagus a video how to plant strawberry and asparagus. So you see stuff in the vlog, but I also make instructional videos related to what we're doing. Another thing we're doing is harvesting compost out of our chicken run. So I did a short video on how to harvest compost out of a chicken run. Like don't just put your chickens out there on, in the same place. If you're gonna do that, put down deep bedding, put down wood chips, hay, some sort of mulch. That breaks down and underneath it comes compost. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Here, let's roll that now to close out the vlog. Just enjoy a free sample of the member area. This is a continual run for the chicken. So a lot of people have to keep a chicken in one spot. He's gonna make too much noise if I get down there. You keep a chicken in one spot, you gotta get down deep bedding. You gotta get down a carbonaceous diaper. Wood chips works great for that. You, it's a pain. You gotta bring wood chips or some sort of carbon and put it in here, but it keeps your chickens healthy and happy. But you also get Compost. Look at this compost. Crazy. Crazy Black good gold. looking compost. <laughs> Black gold as the room calls it. Well, how does that happen? Well you put down your wood chips and eventually underneath the wood chips, we've raked these up, underneath the wood chips is the black gold. Give it six months and you've got black gold. Give eight inches of wood chips deep bedding in your chicken run and then in six months or when you need it, it's been years since we've uh, done it in here. We have other compost sources, but when you need it, you grab a rake and you rake up the mulch that's on top, the bigger stuff, okay? You have some piles throughout of the mulch. Then you've got the, what's underneath. You run it through a sifter. It's a homemade sifter that fits right over our wheelbarrow. And watch your rune sift it. It's got a half inch wire mesh nailed on there with poultry U nails and it's and it's keeping the big stuff out and only the little stuff's getting through and he'll pile the big stuff back on right there and once we've harvested our compost and you could harvest as much as you want and need whenever um, once we've harvested it then we'll rake these wood chips back out and it's time for us to actually bring in more wood chips so that's that's my friend is how you keep chickens on a continual run and harvest the compost. And just look at this pile of compost that we've collected. Ideally, we would put it on our uh, raised beds right there by our chickens. But we had enough soil in there this year. But next year, we'll just add so compost from right there. Then you don't have to travel a lot. But look at this, this is very rich stuff. We're gonna use it in our chicken garden. Miracle behind our chicken tractor, but look at that. Delicious stuff.